Have you ever seen a mobile? I know most of you have. Maybe you've seen them in homes, in schools, or even in art galleries. Look at this one. It's in an art gallery, and it consists of long, twisted metal rods, and on the ends, metal weights weighing many kilograms each. The whole thing is very delicately balanced so that it moves and swings slowly in the breeze. Well, you can make your very own mobile with odds and ends around the home. Start with some empty cardboard packages and some drinking straws, cotton thread, and maybe some plasticine or modeling clay. Here's what you do. Begin by weighing on the kitchen scales your empty packages. That one weighs 50 grams. Okay, this one weighs about 35 grams. To make it up to 50, I can simply open the empty package and drop in a piece of modelling clay. I've pre-weighed that and I know it will now weigh 50 grams. So those two boxes will balance one another on the mobile very easily. Here's something else. It's a small package. It's a soap container and it has a little piece of soap in it and it weighs, you guessed it, 50 grams. So I know that even though those, those two things look very different, they will balance one another. Now, if you don't have kitchen scales, you can still check the weights of your packages with your very own balance or scales. Ruler with a pencil attached with sticky tape halfway along. And then you can place one package 10 centimetres along this way, the other one 10 centimetres in the other direction. That one weighs more, so I need to add modelling clay inside that one to make them balance. Then comes the frame. To make that, get some drinking straws. All sorts of frames can be made. Let's make a square frame. Take four drinking straws, either straight ones or bendy ones. Bendy ones are easy because you can bend that little piece there and you can start by making your four right angles and then twist and squeeze the small end of one straw and push it in to the large end of the next straw there. So you've got part of your square constructed. Four of those together will give you a frame that'll look very much like this. Now you can use it as it is or you can put a strengthening diagonal across there and I've made that by taking two straight straws cutting one short squeezing the end and pushing it in so that it's the right length to make the diagonal of the square not only will that give you something to hang from but also it'll make the whole thing stronger because triangles are stronger than squares you can even make smaller squares to hang from your big square that's made from just two drinking straws and I can put a strengthener across the middle of that too well then comes your imagination and creativity. What you do is think, how can I balance this whole thing? You'll end up with something like this, maybe even more complex. Piece of cotton coming down. There's the major square frame. There's a small one here. And there are boxes, empty boxes, delicately balanced. Now, you'll see that I had to do some adjustment once I had the whole thing up. I had to add some more little pieces of modelling clay or plasticine. What I need to do now is to tuck those away inside so that they're concealed. There's one tucked away, and here's another one to be tucked away, and then hang the whole thing somewhere in the house where it gets a breeze, a gentle breeze, not too strong, maybe near a window, but preferably not near a door. So it gets some breeze, and it'll just oscillate, swing around, and make a very good decoration for your bedroom, lounge room, kitchen, or whatever. I want to know. Curiosity.